Hey friends, it's Crystal. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, we are so glad to have you. We share business resources, tips and tricks for booth and store owners. We also share our junking trips, thrift store hauls, and makeovers that we do on the um, junk that we find. We also have a blog where we share printables, and you guys can download those and use in your craft making or sell them in your booth because we love to help you make money. But today we are sharing five St. Patrick's Day printables that you guys can either use in your home decor or to sell in your booth. I realize St. Patrick's Day is almost here and I almost missed this one, but hey, better late than never. <laughs> so I have these really sweet um, matchbox covers. <clears throat> these are decoupaged on. So um, if you love to do crafts, then this video is for you. And then at the end of the video, I am sharing a few things that I picked up while I was out thrifting and um, a few things that I saw and picked up in Walmart. And then I have these cute little printables. These are just frames that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I loved how rustic they looked. I didn't have to do a thing to the frame. And then I picked up this sweet little galvanized fluted saucer at Walmart. I just thought that was so cute. I may have to go back and grab more of those. But I just, you know, when I'm out thrifting and junking and shopping, I try to find ideas to share with you guys that you can use in your staging and things that you can decorate with in your, um, your booth. But these are just really simple you know, little printables that you can download and sell in your booth because I try to have stuff like this when I do have a booth. I try to have stuff like this all year long. I just do it according to the season or the holiday because customers are always looking for, you know, quick little grab and go items. And these are um, just little simple, affordable things that people will grab to decorate with at home. You know, and these are not crazy expensive. I try to make it affordable for everyone. You know, because those smalls do add up at the end of the month. And I just loved these Dollar Tree frames. These were new this year. I'd never seen those before. So these are set to print 4 by 4 If you do not have um, that size frame, I guess you could do just you could still do it with the extra. Um, white paper around the edge. Lost my train of thinking there for a moment, which is easy to do these days. But you can see um, I didn't use very muted colors. I'm not a very, uh, um, I don't like a lot of color. I like more muted tones. I'm a very more um, neutral style decorator at my house. But I just thought these turned out so cute. I loved these frames. I hope I can find some more of these. I didn't have to do a thing. They were already like that. And I think these are going to be so cute on an Easter project that I have in mind. I hope I can find more of these. But you just print these out, cut them, and, you know, pop them in a frame, and then you have instant art. And then you just change them out. When I have stuff like this in my booth, I usually, depending on where I'm at, I try to price these. You know, they're always under $10, but depending on where I'm at, what store, what city and town, you know, the price is going to vary. And um, I just print these off on my home printer. If you don't have a printer, you can print these out at Staples or Office Depot or a local print company will do it for you also. You would just save the image to your flash drive or you could probably get their email address and email the um, image to them so that they can print it. But the printer I have here in town, sometimes I will use them. Um, they use a laser printer, which that is an inkjet I have here at home. Um, the laser quality is so much better, like a professional laser printer is just, the quality is phenomenal. I love when they print with a laser. 
And then these are the match boxes. I get these at Ingalls Grocery Store. I'm sure you can find these at any, you know, big chain store, Target, Walmart. I was just in Walmart, so I should have checked. But these are probably about four and a half inches. I can't remember the exact measurements, but they're like two and a half inches wide, four inches long, maybe a little over four. And I just cut these out and then decoupage them on. Um, usually when I have these in my booth, I sell them. Again, it depends on where I'm at because, you know, in the smaller towns, I don't get as much. But when I have been in um, other cities, I can, I can get more money for them. But usually the most I've ever charged was $6 a box. And they did very well. And I was out of my um, Mod Podge, so I just grabbed some glue and then watered it down a little bit to, to weaken it. And you want to print this out. I forgot to say, you want to print these out on cardstock. Although you can use regular copy paper, I just feel like the, um, the cardstock is a lot more sturdy. And you just want to put a generous amount on there if you have never done this before. And you might need to trim your um, your image a little bit because, you know, I don't know what size matchboxes you will have, but you would just trim it to size. This kind of stuff's very easy to do. And then once this dries, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put another image on the other side. You can do the same image or you can do two different images. But these are so fun to embellish with buttons and glitter or to distress the edges and make those look older. But I just think these images are so sweet. I did find those over at the Graphics, Fair, Graphics Fairy, but I had to manipulate a little bit on the sizing. And then here are some junking treasures. I don't have a booth, but I thought, how fun would this be to decorate in a booth? But I'm going to use this in my kitchen to cook with. It was practically brand new. And I grabbed this at the thrift store. I thought this would be fun to decorate with. And then I found this sweet little candy dish. I got that for my mama. Thought it would be cute for her. But it's just a little ceramic um, leprechaun hat. I don't think it's very old. And then I found these saucers at Walmart. Better Homes and Gardens. These were over in the gardening section. How fun would these be to age these? I only grabbed one, but I'm definitely going to have to go back and grab more now and try to age some. And then while I was there, I tried to stock up on my florals. I try to keep florals all year long to decorate in both my home and booth. Um, these baby's breath bunches were so sweet. And I always grab the eucalyptus bunches. These are hard to find. They had gone up on these. They used to be two, and I think they're 248 a bunch now. But I'll always keep these in my stash to decorate with. And if you're going to have those in your booth, just, you know, mark them up to sell them. Because customers are always going to ask, are the florals for sale? And I thought these lavender bunches were so pretty. These are very hard to find, but thankfully they had just put a shipment out. <clears throat> I love stuffing these down in like an ironstone pitcher or a mason jar, the pretty mason jars that are blue. And then these are the um, tin pans. Like I said, these are over in the gardening section. They have the 6, 8, 10, and 12 inch pans. And then I thought these were interesting. These are cedar gates. These are meant for fencing out in the yard. But for people that are challenged like me, I'm very um, limited in my woodworking. But I thought these would be so cute painted white and, you know, to hang them in your booth and put like a wreath or even picture frames to stage on. Because I know some of you guys live in an apartment and you do not have access to a garage or to woodworking tools. 
So I just thought that would be an easy way to stage with. And then a lot of you like to use these patio lights and um, Walmart has definitely put a lot of different styles out this year. I have never seen so many to choose from. So grab them now and I am not affiliated with Walmart. And that is it for my um, junking finds and the printables. Now I'm going to share some favorite Etsy finds. I love going on to Etsy and supporting the small artists and their shops. You can find some great home decor or gifts and things like that. So I just wanted to share some of my favorites and share some love for these small time sellers. And if you like this kind of content, Please remember to hit the like button as it helps our channel to grow. And if you would consider subscribing, we would love to have you. And don't forget to set your bell notification so that you can be notified every time we upload a video. Thanks a lot and we will see you in the next one.